Good morning and welcome back to Wacky Wednesday, carried over into Thursday with So Granny So. Today we're going to finish up our, I, I think we're going to make this another table topper of some sort, a table runner. So I have all the squares done. Um, I didn't do too many more of the double ones. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put a white strip on each square. So I don't want them to be whiter than here. So we're going to go with a two inch width. So we're going to need inch strips or two and a half inch we'll cut them by the time you sew them with seam allowance it'll be a two inch strip so we'll have a two and a half inch two and a half and they'll be four and a half long and then going this way you're going to need it the four and a half and then also the extra uh two and a quarter i think it would be once i get those done and i'll sew one on quick we can get an exact measurement of how long we need these side ones to be before we cut all those out uh, so i'm just going to go ahead and cut up some two and a half inch strips out of this i'm just going to stack a couple together here that way we can get those nice and lined up there so these are 10 inch squares so we're going to get four strips out of each one this is some really pretty fabric it's a free spirit layer cake I really like this one. Because it's 10 inches the other way as well, cut some and then we'll go ahead and get that first square started so you can see we want four and a half, that's, that's how wider blocks are. You know what they say, major twice cut once. We'll take one of these squares here and we'll decide whatever way we want our lines to go, whether you want to go them that way or that way. I. So we're just going to line up one on each side and we're going to flip them over And so a quarter inch seam on both of them. And I'll do that and I will meet you back at the cutting table. We'll measure those out quick and see how big they are. So we are looking at about eight and a half inches and these are 10. So we'll need these to be about eight and a half. So we'll go ahead and we'll cut these off. We'll go ahead and take our a quarter inch seam allowance on both sides and I have a couple of these done and it's measuring eight and a half one way and like eight and a quarter the other so we'll go ahead and trim that as you can see the little bit that's extra at the end of these we'll trim those off okay let's see here it's a little over eight and a half that way and about eight and a half that way. So I think that would be good. You can just take that little bit of extra up whatever side you'd like. Eight and a half. So I'll do that to these and I'll get the other ones all sewn up. Okay, so we got all the squares cut or ironed and then squared up. Eight and a half inches. So this is what they'll look like if you don't put this strip in it. That's a lot of weight to me. So I did find some boutique um, a treat, uh strips here. So they are like fireworks and stars and this one has a stage on it. That'd be really nice to go one direction with the red and one direction with the blue. So I think what we're going to do is put the blue on the outside to frame it in. So we'll have a lot of squares, uh, way more than I thought I would end up with out of it. So it was two different turn packs in there. We have 42, eight and a half which will be eight inch squares which will make a seven by six uh, so i'm going to go ahead and make a blanket a quilt out of it instead of a table runner uh there's always little surprises when you're quilting but i did want to use them all up uh, instead of making multiple table runners you could at this point if you wanted to just put some red in between it or blue uh whatever your choice would be we'll line that up like that we are make sure your needles in center position Make sure you got a quarter inch foot on. And we'll go ahead and get that started. And we just line that up with the edge. When that plate, you want a little bit of a gap there so you can cut that apart.
when you get to the end, because there's not enough room for another strip or another square, I'm sorry, I just fold that over and snip that off because I can still use that piece. It's still a pretty good sized piece. I can use it on something else. I'll finish these all up and then I will meet you back at the cutting board. Okay, now that we have them sewed, we're just gonna make sure they're laying nice and flat. Take our scissors and cut right in between those. I'm gonna snip off this end here. And then we have our first one free. We will have to lay them out and decide what's going to wear before we uh, add any more strips on so we know which side the blue is going to be on them. I uh, got all the red trim on one side of each one. Uh, the reason why I'm cutting it on one side is because when you connect these together, it will attach right to that one. Um, I think I decided to go with the multicolored up and down. That way we can save the total blues to go along the edges on all of it. It's all laid out and see what squares we're putting where because I do want to mix up the red, white, and blue squares uh, so they're in different spots around the quilt. Uh, we'll take a black and white photo uh, to make sure we're equally distributed. Uh, that will make sure you've got your light, medium, darks all equally distributed on the quilt. I do apologize for not finishing today. We just simply ran out of time. Stay tuned tomorrow. We will finish it up and I promise I will have the finished product. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button. Thanks for viewing. Have a